premium brand Cartago is the ideal choice for buyers not limited to a budget. It builds these amazing motorhomes in Germany and fits them out with no end of amazing kit. The UK accounts for 10% of its sales and it has plans to grow its market share here. So let's see what makes Cartago so special. Cartago started out building camper vans, but as you can see from this chic sea line, they've traveled a very long way since then. Everywhere you look, there's a stunning attention to detail, whether it's Warner inlays in the cab seats, chrome surrounds on the dashboard where you would normally expect to find none, sumptuous upholstery, or beautifully finished cabinet work. It just shows what's possible when you're building up to a price. This kitchen is beautifully put together. The worktop is smooth to the touch, has an amazing contour to it, and the inlays that cover the sink match it absolutely perfectly. You also get three gas burners using this thoughtful petal arrangement. So you can work on the two hobs at the back and keep the other one down to put your kettle on, for example. But then again, you probably really wouldn't be using a kettle in this motorhome because you have a motorized coffee machine that drops down from a recess underneath to save you worktop. How good is that? And to toast your good fortune owning a Cartago motorhome, these glasses are thoughtfully provided and you can service them from the numerous places to store bottles in the storage units below the worktop. And if you ever need to do any cooking, assuming you don't have someone to do it for you, then you can find an oven and grill above the fridge with separate freezer compartment, which together can hold plenty of provisions, almost enough for a siege. And if you're holed up or you're away for many days on the road, you need a very agreeable place to sleep and I think I found it right here. I gave the bed a little test earlier on and the mattress is super comfortable. The only thing I didn't like was the depth of the wardrobes. I felt a little bit hemmed in at shoulder level, or maybe that was just me. Another great thing is the fabric finish on the ceiling of the bedroom. In fact, so much of this fan is a tactile experience. The materials are used are so superior and the fit and finish excellent. Another great example is this sliding provisions rack, which has a really pleasing action. I've been playing with it for most of the afternoon. In total, there are three wardrobes to choose from, and you also get storage in the underfloor areas, and it's worth noting that the floor is level throughout the van. The rear garage has a 350 kilogram loading capacity too, which is pretty good. And of course, this is continued in the washroom, where you have the same work surface as used in the kitchen. It's a very nice look and feel. There's loads of mirrors, so plenty of surfaces to look at yourself from different angles, which can feel a bit disconcerting. Elsewhere, you have a swivel loo and plenty of lighting. Over on the other side, you have a separate shower compartment with a wooden duckboard and double drain holes. There's also a roof light with a handy hanging rail. The Cartago Sheet Sea-Line XL 5.8Q is 8.35 meters long, so you're going to need a front drive, more than a driveway, to park it. Based on the Fiat Ducato with a heavy chassis, the maximum weight is 5,000 kilograms, so you're going to need a C1 entitlement on your driving license too. As tested today, this van costs just over £111,000. The normal price is just over £91,000 on the road. For people that can afford that kind of money, they're going to have an absolutely fantastic time touring. For the rest of us, it's an intriguing insight into the art of the possible in motor caravan construction.